Hi right, guys, welcome back to my Dead Man Run, day 23, Trapper's Cabin, Mystery Lake. Um, big day yesterday. Managed to find the bear, came back from camp office, dropped off all our stuff, managed to find the bear on the way back, took his hide. Encountered the moose late at night, took him out, and uh, he's dead outside. So a whole lot of good, basically. Um, We're really well stocked for food. Okay, so pre-blizzard. Um, yeah, I can't even touch that right now. It's too. Most I can do right now is go reset my snare. Because it's so insanely cold out. Look at that, just temperature drop, boom. And now I would say the snare is becoming less of a critical item. I don't think I'm going to repair the other snare, so I don't think I'm going to bother. Oh, hey. Sucker for a good rabbit. Oh, wow. At this point, the rabbits are pretty much just um, gut supply. Okay, this rabbit's going to cost me... I have to go. This rabbit's going to cost me health. So that's too bad. I missed. But yeah, I should look into what my priorities are here. So, okay, let's just, while we're thinking about it, let's tear this rabbit down. That's a fair bit of meat for a rabbit and the gut. Half hour to warm up. Definitely would like to harvest that moose, obviously. Okay, it's still perilously cold. Grab okay, pile over here. Okay, so take the gut back. It's just too cold to do the moose right now. Oh, the moose now lying down, cool. Yeah, the moose had one of those insane poses where it was facing straight up in the air. All right, guys, so let me just check my arrow situation. It was not good. I had two arrows. I need more arrows. Let's make arrows. Um, I've got one shaft, so let's do that. Uh, drop the drop the gut. Oh, and some of this gut cured, didn't it? So let's just clean up a little bit. Fresh gut. Wolf pelts are working away. Deer, deer, deer. Okay, so drop the uh, gut and deer hide. So let's go make an arrow. And I'm definitely using the tools. Interesting. I didn't realize it didn't use up tools to make arrows. That's cool. Oh, it does. Okay, never mind. Stand corrected. Still insanely cold. So let's... I'm going to keep the arrow thing happening. Now, am I? Uh... Yeah, three arrows is just not enough, so just too bad. I gotta do it. Let's do another one. Get this going. Make the shafts like this. Okay, blizzard sounding. Um, yep, so two arrow. Let's make a third arrow. Got the three shafts, and then I've got ten, so that's enough. Drop one. Okay, let's do them. Forty-five minutes a piece. Yeah, the thing about the quality tools and the tools is that I'm always hoarding them. But there's lots in the game, and you never go through a tools. Like, I, has anybody in the history of the game ever ran a tools all the way down that it broke? I don't even know if they can break. I've just never. You know what I mean? There's just not enough crafting to do. So it's like, do we still have the parasites? Yeah, we do. Okay, now that's a, that's a nice scene. So let's start a little fire. And actually, you know, this is sound crazy, but this sounds crazy, but I'm the kind of guy that actually doesn't want there to be a fire down there because it's too ugly. So I'm not going to put one down there. I just don't want 
to have to come out of trappers and see a fire. You noticed when I was hunting the the, the uh, moose, I put the fireplace over by that rock. <laughs> it's just because I don't want to see an eyesore. Like I don't mind if it's near the rock, but just right in the middle, it looks ugly. I really wish that fireplaces would go away over time and become reconsumed by the by nature. Okay, so what, what are we gonna do here? We've got we always need venison, right? Uh, yeah, and we need time, so it's okay. It's very cold out still. Um, these are 45 minutes, so that probably enough, but yeah. Um, I'll do a quick stick run, and then we'll cool up, and then we'll... Oh, it's actually pretty... Uh, out of the wind, it's warm. Yeah, that's one thing that I know. I'm not saying I know how they would do it, but it, in the game would have been neat if the snow level kind of rose and fell. Like if you had... Oh, you heard me. If you had, like, after a big blizzard, there's a lot more snow outside. And it could slow you down, you know, like it would in real life. And, like, you're, you could be snowed in or, like, the roof would be covered in snow. And the roads in, in Pleasant Valley Coastal Highway would be covered in snow. I don't know. I just think it would be neat. But, hey, I love the the way the game looks from a environment point of view right now. So I'm definitely not complaining, but just suggesting. What do we got here? When's it going to be ready? Let's do the coal. Nine minutes. Okay, tell you what, let's do one of these. Wow, it is chilly. What's it going to be? It's blown. Or... That's too bad. Okay. This is a failure here. I'm I think definitely not working out my way. Okay, I'm getting a little shy and cold. It's not amazing right now. Is this blown? No, oh, it's, somehow it's still not blown, but it should be. The way this is going on, I'm reluctant to uh, put anything on it. At least we got those done. Maybe we can get the rabbit done. It's not looking like it's blown, so I'm gonna just take a risk on this. And there's a lot of wolves nearby, so let's try to bring them in. Scary number of uh, rabbits there. Yeah, so with rabbits, you end up with a lot of little shards of meat, and that kind of helps to boost your skill up a little bit. I'm not into like fragmenting meat on purpose to, to boost the skill. I feel like that'd be a little, a little weak. You don't need to really. It's kind of good to get cooking level five when you get it, but it just as a byproduct of, you know, you end up with rabbits, you end up doing small pieces. So, because you eat so many of them. Okay, we definitely need fuel. I'm kind of like fuel hungry right now. Now I'm regretting leaving all that fuel at camp office. I mean, we have coal. I could do another coal run. I can hear them right over that hill, but they're not coming. Let's 
So if they're not coming now, they just won't be coming. So I can just drop my pile of rabbits. And yeah, I guess let's get rid of some of this wolf meat. That sounds close. Yeah, not close enough. I mean, if this wind died down, I will go down and then probably encounter one. Oh, there it is, it's blown. Anyway. It was gonna happen for sure, so there it is. 39 minutes, so that's not gonna work. So let's just put that back. I'm just hanging around to sort of sap the remaining heat off it. Our bow is 61, that's good. So I should probably do clothing repairs and stuff. I mean, that's definitely something I have to do. Okay, nobody's coming, so. Even though they're kind of like right over that hill. And the moose eludes me. Wow, blown right out like that, eh? Okay. So let's make ourselves useful here. I think I was going to make some arrows. No, did I do that already? How many do I have? Yeah, six. Okay, so that's, an, that's a start. Um, let's check the clothing situation. Yeah, stuff's definitely taking a beating over time. Okay, I'm. this is an everyday thing, so... Oh yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and make some decisions here. Cure gut. What do we have? We've got a lot, eh guys? So what are we dealing with clothing wise? I've got work gloves are not nearly as good as the rabbit gloves and they require, uh, what's it called? Cure leather to repair. These are so those boots compared to these boots, 2.5 and 2. Okay, so one thing I definitely want are the pants because I want to get rid of those jeans. That's for sure. So let's do that. Um, so what are the jeans? Gonna, the pants are going to be 3 and 4. Wow. Let's see what I, got it, though. 2, 1, 2, 3. Okay, let's start them. So I do want to get rid of those jeans. Let's put, wow, they're long. Let's put two. What does it use, I wonder? A knife or something? I don't know, it didn't give me an option. What, am I still carrying all that? I'm still carrying all those bunnies. We we're gonna be tired early today, but see there in a whole day I didn't even get out to go and the one thing I should do is I should definitely put a repair into the Mackinac before I get too crazy here. And actually sorry. I know I'm getting I'm going back and forth here, but we do have the means, so I'm gonna make myself a line. I know it's a whole cured gut, but and we have okay. More hooks than I could possibly need, but. Okay, and let's go ahead and make a couple of these. Yeah, I just like to kind of do my repairs on these with, see, it doesn't change. Oh, it's a lot longer the way. That's, oh, it's gonna be an issue right now because we're tired. Darn, okay. 
Well. Okay, so I think we're just gonna, this is crazy, but we, we, you know, I didn't sleep very much last night, so let's just do it. Wait, do we still have parasite risk? We still have, okay, I'm gonna go eat something. warm out. Let's see if we can just get a couple pieces of that meat. Like, Because I'm going to lose that whole thing. It's just... I think it hangs around for a few days, but it's just like, you know... Sad is what it is to lose it. Whoa! So that's kind of it for now. I, and it sounds ridiculous, but got cold. We're tired. But yeah, you can see I've got fuel shortages. Um, let's eat one of these. That's the little piece. And we're gonna hit the sack. And this is gonna be a double day, I think. So, yeah, definitely. Double day. Parasites are gone, so first thing in the morning we're eating a piece of bear. Aurora, that doesn't, doesn't do us any good here. Today we're going to go for a full energy level. Just pre-dawn. So let's do something to pass the time. Okay, sun came up. Now we do our Mackinac, which deserves it. it. Takes longer, but same percentage likelihood. Oh. There. Okay, so we're cruising into, into day 24, guys. We're about to eat a piece of bear meat. Okay, that's right. It's interesting weather. Moldy bear meat, sounds about right. I guess I still gotta be so careful. I could still get food poisoning from all this stuff. sure quite why I'm just doing this because I have a full temperature bar and I'm like let's spend it and this poor moose is just wasted for his, his pelt I feel like a poacher okay so let's call that it for now. Another two two kilos. We'll go in and work on the pants a bit. So yeah, it's gonna be a couple of days of just this kind of thing. To get it oh another bunny. So yeah, and I I know it's weird but I'm just gonna keep doing those bunnies because instinct. Force a habit till the snare breaks, which it looks like it did. So, oh no, it's still there. Yeah, when the snare breaks, we won't have any more. I'll just try to work without it. Oh, and obviously, desperately need of sticks, and we're not getting the respawn here for some reason. So, yeah. 
maybe up that hill. Let's respawn. I don't know. I probably next really good about weather. I gotta go do another log. So I'm just going to rip this thing down, take the meat, and take the gut. 40 minutes. What's it going to be? Definitely take the 25. All right. And let's drop that gut and get it going. Because guts are really neat, nice to have, really important. A couple of morsels of... Rabbit are always good to have. It's still cold, so let's go put some time into those pants. It'd be nice to get those pants going. They're kind of a game changer. Let's put two hours in. Oh, I do get a choice. Huh. Maybe the first time it's a knife or something? Or maybe I just didn't see that I could choose last time. Went by too quickly. Okay, so yeah, water just ran out, so we got one two two liters and we're just going to keep rinse and repeating here guys um, step out take a piece off the moose go back work on the pants etc probably make it more efficient if i did one hour in the pants at a time i feel like there is some savings maybe for doing multiple hours at a time i'm not sure always felt like there was but there may not be Pretty nice out. So again, yeah, obviously the the really nice thing about moose meat is it's parasite free. They eat plants, I guess. Musk egg specifically, I think. So yeah. Now, am I gonna attract a wolf? That would be nice. I am short one wolf hide. There's tons of work to do, but oh, there it is. Okay. Perfect. So, he just despawn? Yeah, he did. Or he's not drawn? Weird. Oh, here he comes. Okay, it was, that was weird. Okay, I actually have to do this. It's crazy, but. Little magnifying glass. Very satisfying. More than one. Come on, big guy. Oh, is it that he can't path up here? What is it? Oh, there's two coming. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want to put stuff in there. Yeah, it's weird they like lose the scent or something. I don't know how that works. They have trouble pathing up here, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, and one despawn. That's just craziness. Oh man, I need you. You're not even attracted by that dead moose? That would be appealing to me. How are you? Come on. Yeah, he gets all hinky, see? Something's up with that. Okay, there we go. They just, the scent dynamic is screwed up somehow. Oh, second one too, nice. Bringing them in.
And I guess, you know, it does feel a little cheap, frankly, all this. Oh. Oh, God. Well, that's not good. Double bleeder. Double arrow loss. Huh. Okay. Well, it doesn't do me much good. I mean, I will find them eventually, but probably, hopefully. But yeah, not good. So yeah, let's let's do some of this moose on. And I'm gonna go ahead and oh, we're out of okay. Do a couple of like little clerical tasks here to move things along, to heat up. And then I'm gonna go look for those wolves. So actually, and for that we're gonna need definitely need some buffs. Get those going. And note to self, I have to make another rose hip. And we don't have that many. I don't think we have that many rose hips in our inventory. Just one. Huh. Yeah. Gotta be careful with those. Forty-seven minutes. Yeah. So I really. Yeah. We've got the parasite risk. Let's eat the venison. We'll put the moose stuff out here. Yeah, we've got all kinds of food here, guys. It's really nice, but... Let's put one into this. Torch our way out of here, and actually, let's drop this thing. I know I'm carrying a bunch of extra stuff too. Let's go. Oh wait, in our our bait. Okay. So we're going on a wolf hunt here. Didn't quite work out to our liking that they ran off, but hey, even if one of them had died. Would have been good. But anyway, we'll see what we find. At least one of them's got to be out here somewhere. And we did need to do a stick run anyway, so. Here's our incredible stick load. We're getting, looks like maybe a weather change on us here. I also should do the cave again soon. Yeah. These guys ran off to God knows where. I don't know where they came from. Because I had three stink, they could have come from quite far. We're going back to their... Oh, here we go. Blood trail. But where? to lead anywhere. Shucks. I did expect to see at least one wolf over here. Ah. So it's the next hill, I guess. hear them. They're all those birds. Jeez, where um, did they go? Did they make me crest a hill? With, with bait on me? Yeah, I see. Okay, I see the birds over there. Good weather though for this.
Oops. There's one. It might be too steep for a fire here. There's my arrow. Oh no. There's my arrow. Yeah, too steep for a fire. I hate this, guys. It's the worst. Okay, so we're going to store our fire up here. Unless I can find the other one real quick. Yeah, this is it. So we lost an arrow. But... gonna get our hide out of it so I'll take that trade I don't know when I'm ever gonna cook that uh Where's that other one going to be? Somewhere around here, I think, but... He seemed to come from further because he, uh... He was behind the other guy, so maybe he went back... Way over this way somewhere. That's that old one that's dead up there that I don't have any interest in. Anyway... Let's call this an ex a stick run. This is a great stick spot here, so. Birds are going crazy around here. Yeah, who knows where that other wolf is? I sort of wonder if it's back down up that way because I did see the blood trail there, but the sun's starting to fade a little. Great weather. Oops. So maybe over this way up over this hill possibly it gets confusing with all those birds chirping uh, crowing cawing that can't really tell where this stuff is it's so great we can walk around with a torch and be above temperature it's just so so great Okay, so it would seem that I didn't actually come down this way because I see a couple of reishis there. I don't believe they respawn. Uh, I just no, there's lots here, so I didn't come this way, I guess. Without getting too far afield here, it's going to circle back, but okay, so those might be some rose hips there, which would be very, yes, desirable. You, you play a bunch of these runs, oh, another pot, okay, take it back with me. And you get kind of like confused about what you've done and what you haven't. It's just hard to keep it all straight. So 
So I'm going to circle around through here and maybe find that other wolf if I'm lucky. But he might just have disappeared. It sometimes happens. And I'm actually going to walk past that bunny. Um, we're kind of at the stage where bunnies aren't that critical. But actually, I'm going to go for the sticks here. It's a nice area down here. Like I've, I've always been a little bit afraid of it, but I've always stuck to the edges of the map, you know, and this is kind of interior. So it's always scared me a little bit to be out here, but it's beautiful. It's bountiful. good okay something here here he is hmm now that million dollar question is do I bother fixing the wrist it is kind of an important thing because oh, it's a tough one. We are really short on reishis, so I don't want to. Let's do what we need to first. Oh, I don't even know if I can take this without... Yeah, I can. Okay, that was good. So that's that. I'm going to say... I'm gonna ball it on the way home. Although, hey, okay, tell you what, let's make the reishi anyways, or the rose hips so we have it. And I'll, yeah. I'll just do a quick walk around here. So I'm gonna go with fire as my defense on the way home. I hope that that's good enough. But there we go, guys. Recovered both arrows. Two wolf hides in the dock here. Another awesome day. Absolutely awesome day, I would say. Uh, didn't get as much of the moose as I wished, but I mean, I suppose I could buckle down and quarter the darn thing, but I don't know. It's kind of neither here nor there. Okay. Let's just go. And take what we need and leave the rest. Um, Yeah, so the only danger I'd say is if there's a wolf, a remaining wolf this way. I don't think so, because I believe he would have come too if, with the the meat the lure that I had set up. So I think we're pretty good that way. I'm doing my usual safe return, which is to the back here and then up the side. Because there's a wolf that patrols that hill. There's another deer. I think that might be, oh, he didn't evade me and I ended up killing that guy eventually, but honestly with the moose, uh, if we can just continue to harvest more of that moose, it's better than a deer. There's five deers worth sitting there, so, or more. Yeah, this is pretty light for sticks down here. Yeah, it's tough with the, the fires. Like in some ways I, I like to see an old fire. It's like, oh, my memory and I get that. But like, yeah, they should just give us the dismantle option. There should be, a, you should have to, I, I actually like the idea of using stones, the idea of using stones to set up a fire pit. Like you have to collect a bunch of stones and you know, that way you can't just produce a fire pit anywhere. I think there's more to building a fire pit than just stopping for a second. You have to do some stuff. So I don't know, you know, part of the reason that there's fire pits all over the bloody map is that there's no cost to making them whatsoever. 
Um, and then you could harvest them and pull out a little bit. It's kind of like snow shelters, you know. But even snow shelters degrade. So, you know. I don't know. I think there's something to be said for that. Possibly. It's a possible update. You know, I've complained a lot about this game over the series that I've done, and I love the game, you know, there's no doubt. This is why I'm playing it so much. It's an amazingly cool game. I can't get over how awesome it is. You know, I've put over a thousand hours into it. I love it. It's amazing. It's like one of my favorite games, you know? So, hey, whenever I criticize this game, it has to be in the context of it being like, in the context of love, you know, because it's an awesome game, or I wouldn't play it this much. But that being said, I mean, I'm still playing 1.47 because I think that, I don't want to say it's better, but it is a good, it is almost perfect. You know, like I feel like the step to 1.55 with the revolver and stuff, I know I've complained about this before just because I just don't see really what it brings us, you know. Uh, revolver I think was totally unnecessary. Uh, and even just cheapen the game a bit. I hate to say it, but I think it cheapened the game. I like the fact that there aren't many guns, you know. I like the spirit of interloper, which is no guns, you know. We don't need guns. Or if we do, they should be highly penalized, like... Um, you know, you can use them, but they're kind of like, you know, come at a major cost kind of thing. And they do, they're heavy and stuff, and there's, few, you know, not that much ammo, but... I like the live off the land vibe, and uh, you know, guns are in every other shooter in the world, so it kind of brings it, when you have guns in this game, it brings it closer to shooters, and I don't want this to be a shooter, this is an experience, it's totally different, and yeah, we don't need guns. It's nice to have the odd gun, rare, rare gun, rare ammunition, okay, kind of cool, but yeah, we don't really need more guns. And we don't need a revolver of all things. Especially a weird, like, ancient revolver that doesn't really seem to fit, if you ask me. So, I'll complain some more, guys. And, you know, to anybody that cares or doesn't. But yeah, I think 1.47 was almost perfect. You know, here we are. It's like, this is a great game. You know, there's a couple of minor tweaks here and there, but we didn't need much more. And new maps would obviously i love new maps but it got way cold way cold um, let's do this just eat that thing right away yeah, why don't we make another piece of bear meat oh, that's moose oops okay break these down Another thing I was thinking would be interesting, and I don't need know if we need to do this, but like it would be cool is if there's more um, character variation in the game. Like there's man and woman, which don't really differ, you know. Uh, I don't know if that's for political reasons or what, but they don't, they're not different. And I'm not saying they should be. I'm just saying that it'd be interesting if there was um, other variations, other character, you know, make it more of an RPG where you make a character build and then they play slightly differently. You could have somebody that's more like, you know, tech oriented, they're better crafting or better hunting. I don't know. You could just imagine like a slight tweak there so that all of our experiences aren't the same. You know, if you play the guy and the girl, it's like basically the exact same experience. If you're on Dead Man and you don't have the dialogue on, it is the exact same experience. I guess there's the inventory screen. It's the only difference. So I just feel like, you know, hey, that would be interesting. Because again, guys, we're playing this game to death. It's all about replay value. So we care about replay. And... Yeah, having uh, some character variation is a way to get at that enhanced replay. Um, it had to be done right, obviously. It'd be easy to mess that up, but... And uh, unbalance it, you know? But Which is why I'm saying, like, 1.47, you know, it's kind of perfect. You know, like, we're, we're at a good place. 
Just add new maps and we shall be happy. Um, I will go. I will do 1.55 when they balance birch bark and when they fix the sprain system. Because I just don't want to deal with that the cheese thing. I just can't go there. I just I've seen it. It looks painful. Uh, that cheese thing for me is just so wrong on so many levels. It's like it it's the wrong approach to it. So people were frustrated with the sprains because they were too often. Making us aware that the sprains are going to happen uh, doesn't make them less insane. It just makes us almost more annoyed that, hey, there's a sprain happening when it shouldn't, or there's a risk. You know, when I went outside of the um, fishing hut and I went over that lip and it caused a sprain risk, it's like that. The cheese thing only makes us more aware of the fact that the sprain system is not right. It's odd. So it's better when we don't know about it, but the right solution is just to fix it so that it works. Okay, so guys, that was I think that was a pretty long episode. Let me just see what we did. 46 minutes, perfect. Um, don't want to eat my bait. Okay, let's go. Sorry. I'll start there. Let me just go drop the bait and eat something. Whoa, big load. Uh-oh. Scared me for a sec. Okay, so. How's this thing going? Still burning. Okay, that'll be done in the morning. It's because I can't forget it back there. Okay, let's go tie it off. And that was a pretty good day, guys. I would say it's an amazing day. Uh, it's as good as they get in this game. Uh, pretty much. What are we dealing with? Those are cured. Okay, and these are cured. So we're nothing that we're hold on to that we should be. I could probably get away with a uh, knife sharpening. Probably get away with another knife sharpening. Okay, that's cutting it close. Put her seven in. Got the, oh yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot I had a sprained wrist. Wow. That's what happens. Hey, you wander off with it. And next thing you know, you got an encounter. Okay. Start ourselves off right for a new day, guys. Hopefully with no parasite risk. That should go away in the morning pretty soon. All right, guys. So that was the end of day. It was a double day. End of day 24. 3 and 24. Started at 25. Thanks a lot for watching. It's been a pleasure. Catch you guys tomorrow.